God is good. And all the time. Dear Jambi, my, my daughter. The time has come for me to atone for my acts of omission or commission on your final journey from this one. It, it has been one of the most difficult episodes in my life. And especially for your close family, your mom, the sisters, aunts, uncles, colleagues in the media, and friends in and out of the country. The large following you are able to marshal on social media was a testament to your abilities as an influential personality. You are sudden and unexpected death cut short your very bright and promising career at the time you had really entered the political arena. Uh, having buyed to be a member of parliament for the Korea South in the 2022 elections, where you came an impressive fourth. My tribute to you will be on my contribution in your life, confession of my acts of omission or commission, and uh, forgiveness. Uh, Stella Fonboy Kanogo, your mom, and I were living in Riruta Satellite when we started our friendship, and you were conceived in. 1985. She gave birth to you on January 24, 1986. At the time, I was working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Having been employed in late October 1983, she visited me at the office to inform me of the pregnancy. And later, after she gave birth to you, she came back to see me. At that time, you were about four months old, and that was my first encounter with you as a child. Though our encounter was uh, short-lived, and we never saw each other after that, as I was posted out of the country. All the time I was away, your mom and family took care of you, and it is only when you go to Form 1 and I was back in the country that we were able to meet when you came to the office to look for me. And I take this opportunity to thank her family for being there for her when I myself was absent. You, you were then at Gara Girls and came in school uniform. When I saw you, I saw myself. And we spoke at length about your education. You later changed schools and went to Aria Girls, then McKinney School, where you did your own levels. Thereafter, you joined St. Christopher's for A levels. And then you agreed to join the State University for your undergraduate degree from where you graduated with a degree in mass communications. We took a very beautiful photo on your graduation day, which I shall always treasure. And thereafter, got your job at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. From the time I accepted you as my daughter, I never stopped paying for your education 
and supporting you in other ways. And I remember after the graduation ceremony which I attended in 2008, you told me that you are very grateful that I've been by your side in your educational journey. I would also support you from different parts of the world in many ways, especially when I was in London and Nigeria. You later told me you wanted to do postgraduate studies in international relations at the United States International University. And I did not hesitate to pay for your studies. Later you joined Alliance Francaise to study French and I remember on one occasion you told me there was a trip to France and I paid for you. The following year you went again to France as you told me you loved the country very much. My only fear was that this would be an annual event and I would have to be funding the journey and you told me don't worry if it's too much for you I'll become a French citizen you told me from your visits you had bought lots of presents for your family and friends to appreciate them always being there for you I remember you in many ways and I ask here in public well I may have not fulfilled my duties as your dad. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. And I pray that your school will rest. Thank you very much. Let's give him a hand of applause.